In this movie we're going to install the Numix Circle theme. You may have followed the other 44 or 45 uh, movies about uh, installing and, and desktop customization of Linux Mint Cinnamon, which are on YouTube as well. And there was a reason why I did not install it on my work computer, on my computer where I will be designing the icon themes. And it gives me a, a moment to explain you how the Sardi icons also work. So let's go to the home where, by the way, on another computer, so you will, you might see other things now. We're going for Control H. These are the icons. Let's bookmark them. Add bookmarks. And here it is. So we can go to it again later on. The Sardi icon set is an icon set on its own, but it has also a fallback. If an icon does not exist in Sardi, it will go and see if a new mix circle is installed and take that icon. If still it doesn't find it, it will go to new mix, to breeze, to gnome, and the ends with high color. No icon found, can't display it. That's how it works, and that's how Sardi is also built in. Sardi Arc, for instance, has the index theme, and it says if you don't find the icon, first go check in Sardi, then go check in Numix Circle and in Numix. So that's the reason why I didn't want to install Numix Circle on my working computer, because otherwise I can't see if an icon isn't doesn't exist, it's not working. Because Numix Circle will always be a fallback and it will always be a circle, not a Sardi circle with a white border and all that. But there will be an icon and it will not show up. It will, will be forgotten to make this new icon for Sardi. So that's, that's why I'm not mixing him. But you as end users, that's your fallback. If something happens, the programmer changes the name well, you don't have an icon. If, um, if, if if things the names changes, yeah, what else? If um, there are new programs coming up, so with another name, well, the icon doesn't exist, so it won't show up. Show up. If I find uh, the program first, I'll make an icon. But if I don't have the time, but Numix has made an icon, then the icon for Numix will show up. So it's a great fallback. It's a system that works together. Like the Linux world uh, really is doing, the community. So that's uh, how it works. And without further ado, let's go and check Control H. Let's install the little script here. It's nothing. You can just check it on the internet. You will see that it's very simple. It says at the repository, so the, the database, the, the warehouse, and the name is Numix, PPA is Numix. Edit, update it, so get information not only from this, but from everything that you, that you have, including Numix. And then you say install these guys. That's all there's to it. And then you have your Numix installation. So, not install Neomix latest I have a bit of trouble today with internet service being down maybe DNS service not responding very fast so hopefully it will find it like I said couldn't resolve host is probably a DNS problem. But he's trying. Maybe the, well, there it is. So it's going to launchpad.net where the PPA is. But today, really slow. Don't know what's happening. Probably see something on the news. So that's it. It's installed. You go to um, appearance here. And what did we install now? We installed the new mix, the new mix circle, the new mix circle light, and new mix light. I always choose this one 
this is what you've installed and when you see it you'll probably say whoa I want to have that icon set and so you should it's a great beautiful icon set and it's quite complete all right have fun